My name is Maria Chernovsky and I'm a professor at Columbia University. I study these objects called graphs. The graphs I study are not the x and y axis that uh, you saw in high school. A graph is just a bunch of points, some which are adjacent and some are not. You can study these objects in an abstract way and uh, that's what I do. Think of the internet. So the internet has a bunch of computers and some of them can talk to each other directly and some can't. So now forget what a computer looks like and instead of having a computer, put down a point. And then if two computers can actually talk to each other directly, put a line between the two points. And so what you got is the graph. There are what's called existence questions. You know, if I, if I promise you this, can you promise me that? And that's not necessarily sort of an algorithmic question. That's not necessarily a question of can, can you do this fast? That's, that's a more, you know, more abstract question. And those you can study you know, all day long for your whole life. And they, they get hard. So, so that, and to be honest, that's what I do most of my time. I study these existence questions. So here's an example of an existence problem, the kind of thing I work on, but simple. So six people that came to a party. Is it true that either there, there exist three people who know each other or there exist three people who don't know each other? And the answer is yes. Another thing you can do is if you want to avoid conflict, you know, think of cell phone frequencies. So you have these cell phone towers and they uh, broadcast at cer certain frequency and you want, to, uh, you want to assign frequencies to them but in such a way that if two towers are close together, their frequencies are far apart so they don't interfere. So let's make a graph. The points are the towers and then you put a line between two points if they're too close together, if they're likely to interfere. But now you have a rule. If they're joined by a line, if they're too close together, then you're not allowed to assign the same frequency to them. So what you try to do is ask a question which is hard enough that you would need a new idea, but it's not sort of so hard that you just don't see anything. You try and ask the right question and you try and get a new idea that would push you further. And that's really sort of what a mathematician does. When I got the call from the foundation, I don't know what we talked about. All I remember is me saying, are you sure this is not a prank? Are you sure this is true? Uh, I, st I, still, I still don't quite know what I think. I mean, obviously it's a good thing, but uh, I have not mapped my life from MacArthur on. <laughs> With the MacArthur Fellowship, I'll be able to work exactly on the problems I want to work on, which is extremely important if you're trying to do something creative.